This year, instead of Vacation Bible School, our church is doing a two-day event for all ages called Family Faith Fest. They've asked me to do a couple of workshops on woodworking. So, I've decided we're going to build a bird feeder. Three to be exact. So we better get started. The design for our birdhouse is one that I came up with on my own. I didn't have any templates to go by, so I just looked at pictures online and kind of figured out how big it needed to be. And now I'm drawing it out on a piece of cedar. This seems to be a very popular style. Now that it's drawn out, we're going to take it over to the miter saw and cut out the blanks. We've set up a stop so we make a perfect cut every time. Now moving our miter saw to the correct angle and setting up another stop block, we can cut the long tapered portions. Now readjusting the angle in the stop block, we can cut one half of the 45 for the roof peak. And then after a slight adjustment again, we cut the other half. Over at the table saw, we've raised the blade barely above the table and set the fence. And now we're cutting the grooves for the plexiglass to slide into. Using our exterior wood glue, we're going to glue some stops in the bottom of the plexiglass track. This way, the glass won't slide all the way to the bottom and it'll leave a gap for the bird seed to fall out of. We'll just flush them up with a sharp chisel. We've tilted our table saw to 45 degrees and we're running the edge of this board through it. This will make up the roof panels of our bird feeder. Now we've set up a stop block on the miter saw and we'll cut the roof panels to length. Now going back to the table saw, we cut them the width. As you can see, I did an additional cut on one of the roof panel halves and now I'm attaching it back together with hinges. This will allow us to open the roof to fill the feeder with seed. To attach the two roof halves together, I'm butting them at the miter and taping them with some painter's tape. The tape will hold them together, it'll also act as a hinge. Now we flip the whole thing over and we put glue on both mitered surfaces. We then fold it together and use some brad nails to hold it. Once we've got the brad nails on, we can take the tape off and we have a perfect tight miter. Now we're going to cut some pieces for the sides of our bird feeder tray. And to attach them to the sides of the bird feeder, we first draw a center line on both, and then we glue them, line up the center lines, and tack them with a few brads. Parts of our bird feeder will only be attached with screws. This way we can take it back apart and the kids at church can assemble it. The long sides of the bird feeder are just screwed on. As well as these sides. I first clamped them in place, 
pre-drill them, and then put a few screws in the bottom. The walls of the birdhouse tend to display out at the top. So for this reason, I'm attaching a bar to pull them back in. Now let's put our roof on. I'm using a block as a spacer to get the overhang just right. And now we'll drill and we'll screw it on. I cut the plexiglass to size on the table saw. And now we just slide it into the grooves. And here's the finished product. The hinged lid allows for easy filling of bird seed and the gap at the bottom allows it to spill out into the tray. I've partially disassembled two of the feeders, labeled them with a sharpie in an inconspicuous areas, and bundled them into packages. These will be used for the two classes that I'm teaching the children at Family Faith Fest. The third I've left assembled after adding a chain for hanging it up. Well, the bird feeders were a huge hit at church. The adults as well as the children liked them. And it was really easy for the kids to assemble them because we had pre-assembled them here. All they used was a handheld screwdriver and the screws just naturally found their way into the existing holes. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you build you one too. As for this one, I'm hanging it up in my backyard. Thanks for watching.